everybody. How you doing? How you been? Randall from Randall is here. To get straight to the point, this video is just to publicly announce that I am now partaking in the YouTube's partner program. In fact, I have been part of the partner program since November 2023. It's by no means any major announcement or news, but it is something that I felt I needed to announce publicly because in the past I have preached doing the exact opposite, which is not wanting to partake in the partner program. And since I have essentially reversed this decision of mine, I felt it was only appropriate that I addressed it in the same manner that I preached doing the opposite, which is publicly. I guess I'm just trying to hold myself accountable for my words of the past. Anyway, that's it. That's the whole point of this video. The remainder of this video is just to explain what influenced and convinced me to make this change. So if you're interested in that, feel free to stick around. If not, thank you so much for your time up till this point and have a good day. Still here? All right. The year was 2023. Rando was but a wee lad of 29 years. During this time, I was in the middle of working on, but more importantly, reworking on a certain animation for a certain company for a certain celebration. If you know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. All you gotta understand is that this particular animation took around seven months to complete and its production was hell. Not because it was difficult, although it was, but more so uh, there were some changes that needed to be made within a relatively short period of time and it required a lot of reshuffling and reprioritization of my personal schedule. In the middle of this production, I remember thinking to myself, after this, I need a break. I needed to take some time off to mentally and physically recuperate from this work, amongst other reasons. And so, in September 2023, I went to Japan. Now, I went around uh, the different prefectures in Japan, but while I was in Tokyo, I had the opportunity to spend some time with a good friend of mine, Emi Richu. And she introduced me to her significant other, Didus. We got acquainted really quickly and we became fast friends and we ended up uh, hanging out more often with each other during my time in Tokyo. Which was nice, you know, really nice. And Daru was there too. Anyway, in one of our outings, we went out for dinner and it was during dinner while we were talking about a myriad of different topics that the subject of me not being part of the YouTube partner program uh, propped up. Now, it wasn't like they were trying to psych me into partaking in the program against my will. It was more so friends wanting to share advice with a fellow artist who they can clearly see was struggling <laughs> to make the most of his artistic career. And they really wanted to help me out, which I greatly appreciate. And if you did not know already, up till that point, I was still against being part of a YouTube partner program because, um, one, I did not like my videos having ads on them. And Two is I don't like the way YouTube manages creators on the platform because it seems outright incompetent at times. And I don't want to be financially dependent on a team that has a poor record of helping out creators. And so those were my two arguments as to why I did not want to be part of the YouTube Partner Program. And then they provided some counter arguments, which got me thinking. Now, before we continue, I want to make it very clear that this is not their words. This is my understanding. It may not be what they said, 
but it is the message that I understood. I want to make that very clear because they work under a parent company. And if I were to say that they said certain things, even if I did not have the evidence, they could still land in trouble. And I want to avoid that. So understand that this is not necessarily what they said. I'm definitely paraphrasing and or misquoting, but this is what I understood. All right? All right. Anyway, so the first counter argument that they made was that YouTube puts ads on your videos irregardless if you're part of the partner program. And they're making all the money from your videos while you see none of it. And so if you don't want ads on your videos, well, not only are there ads on your videos, but you're not making money from them. And so <laughs> I'm basically a sucker. <laughs> Uh, that was that was the point, I guess, that they were trying to make. And once again, it's not exactly what they said. They weren't as aggressive as the way I'm making it sound now, but those were the points I understood. The second counter-argument was that, you know, I always believed that partaking in the YouTube Partner Program was selling out, you know. But Emily and I just made it clear to me that there is a difference between making YouTube videos for the sake of making money and wanting to reap the benefits of your labor, which is probably why you can tell when someone's clout chasing and another person is genuinely just creating something while being monetized, or at least that's how I see it. And I took that to heart. I... After hearing those thoughts, I reconsidered my stance on this. And so and so that's where the conversation more or less ended during dinner. And uh, with these new perspectives in mind, I continued my journey across Japan. The next stop for me being Hokkaido. <laughs> Specifically, I volunteered at a farm in Hokkaido for about, uh, I, think, I think it was a couple of weeks, uh, just to get a different experience in life, something that I am not familiar with, farm work, basically. And it was in Hokkaido, in this farm, that I was convinced that, yeah, maybe I should be part of the YouTube Partner Program. Because what happened was the other volunteers and the hosts themselves were interested in my YouTube videos. And so when they searched it up, that's when I noticed that every video that they tried to pull up had an ad on it. And then I went, okay, that was honestly a little surprising for me because while I knew that some of my videos had ads on them, I didn't realize how many had ads on them. And it was quite a lot. And the reason why I didn't realize that there were that many to begin with was because back home, as I use YouTube, you know, as a mathematician, I don't open the equation to the minuses. I instead blockade the additionals. This is commonly abbreviated as blocking the ads. And so having my eyes opened at the viewer experience of my YouTube channel as someone who's not a mathematician, it convinced me that, yeah, I'm, I'm just a sucker right now because I'm not seeing any of the revenue that these ads are making on my videos. Now, out of curiosity, I visited Social Blade, which is a statistics tracking site for YouTube channels, for lack of a better description. And uh, the, the image you're about to see is doctored, but when I visited the site back in November 2023, after I got back from Japan, I saw that my channel was making up to 50 thousand US dollars per year and you want to know how much of that money I saw none of it you know why because I'm not part of the YouTube partner program 
Now look, I may not have a wife or kids to call my own, but I do have a family that I've taken the responsibility to shelter and feed. This is the same family that most of my income from Randowis has gone into. And I am forever grateful for everyone who has supported me because you supported my family. And so, looking at these numbers, it solidified my position as a sucker. Because not just me, but my family did not get to benefit from a single cent of that revenue. And thus, with them in mind and wanting to leech back from YouTube what they make from me, I have since partook in the YouTube Partner Program since November 2023. And that is the story. I think it was in one of the older videos where I made a comment speaking really sternly against wanting to be part of the partner program. All right, here we go. Uh, it's the have some fun animated video. And the comment that I made was that I refuse to be part of the program. I, I do not wish to earn money from my videos. And as a reminder to myself that I do this for the fun of it. It's a statement that hasn't aged so well, in my opinion. But, you know, look, looking back at this comment, I think, I, I think I was just insecure about being a sellout all those years ago when I made this comment. You know, there is, there is that saying that if you enjoy doing something, don't do it for money. But if you're good at something, don't do it for free. And I think this comment was made during a time when I was insecure, if not unsure of being able to find that balance of work and income. If I could talk to this rando, if I could talk to this rando, I would probably tell him what I said earlier in the video, that being, it's not about selling out, it's about reaping the fruits of your labor. You know, this change of perspective has, ha has, has helped me come to terms with putting ads on my videos, despite saying earlier that I don't like ads on my videos. And so I hope you understand this change in perspective, and I hope I'm, I was able to explain myself as clearly as possible. However, regarding the censorship which accompanies being part of the YouTube Partner Program, um, specifically, in terms of uh, lewd and uh, you know etchy stuff, I am not going out of my way to create grotesque or pornographic content. Maybe a little raunchy, maybe a little inappropriate, but still safe for work. But I am not deliberately trying to break every terms of service that exists on this platform, at least in terms of content creation. And so if YouTube ever approaches me with a request or even a demand to censor my content or risk getting demonetized, I would rather my content be demonetized. And that is to uphold the principle of not doing it for the money. You know, I, I don't make that much money for my videos anyway, you know, ever since the rates have been revealed to me. Um, so if it means losing a few bucks just to be able to keep some anime opai and oshiris on the screen. Go ahead, keep that money. You sons of bitches. However, I won't go down without a fight though. I will appeal the process as much as I can. Should that situation arise, assuming the video does get demonetized and I do miss out on a good chunk of revenue, then not to worry because there's always gamer subs code rando for 10% off i mean look at this who wouldn't want that for 10% off smells like chlorine or you can get a hello everybody post edit rando speaking of from the future unfortunately the footage that you see behind me right now was recorded in mid-may back when the lou plush was still on sale and unfortunately it's already 
July, which means that the sale has been over for quite some time now. So my apologies. And I just quickly wanted to mention that if you are interested in getting anything Rando was merch related, I am working on a merchandise store, but I would like to produce a little bit more Rando was content first because the most recent Rando was videos, or at least most of them have been merchandise related. And so I don't want to make another merchandise related video so soon and i I hope you understand but uh, you know hopefully you look forward to that anyway that's all for the announcement thank you so much Uh, back to the video anyway if you want to support the channel that's those are some of the few ways that you can support the channel or you can just watch and like my work that's fine too and if you don't like ads if ads really bother you then i cannot encourage you to get an ad blocker because ad blockers are against youtube's terms of service what a horrible thing it does, ruining the YouTube experience. Ad blockers. Anyway, have a good one. See you in the next video. Indeed, she is cute. But is she funny?